please support the channel and subscribe. So in this exercise, it's 4v4 plus 2. The blue team could score on the two blue goals. There's a blue dot on the ground in, inside the goal. The yellow team could score on the two yellow goals. Now, if one goal is crowded, they can go and switch directions, go to the other goal. If both goals are covered, they can keep it for 12 passes. The two red players are the plus players. They can score and they are always on the team in possession, so it's actually a 6v4. In this, I play one touch, I play two touch, I play free play. So let's take a look at what it looks like in training. As you can see, the, the yellow team is off to the yellow goal down the far end, and on the top, they have a yellow goal on the top as well. Remember, if they get to 12 passes without losing possession, they also get a point. There is no minimum passes before a goal can be scored. So if they score on the second pass, it's fine. The, the strategy of the game really changes as we played a one touch variation with two touch on the steel. We played two touch and then we also played free play. And obviously the strategy, once you can dribble and drive at people and change direction, the strategy changes. Um, when it's one touch, it's more about ball circulation and getting players positionally in the right spots. You can see the guys were very good today at moving the ball. Right on transition is the time where you really need to exploit the other team because that's the time when they're not in good defending positions.